You know, I love how the story of the real Christians were people who uh, stood up and said, I'm going to believe what I believe in. And they got their heads chopped off for that. And they knew that, right? <laughs> I'm sure after the first couple died, they knew they were going to die if they said that. And then here we are 2,020 years later after the death of their Savior. And I spent the last couple of years going to churches and stuff like that. And they're all wearing, the, wearing their um, little uh, face diapers you got to be careful with what words I say because it's offensive and I'm not an expert. I'm, I don't know jack squat about anything. Um, so because, because I never went to college and paid them $3,500, I don't know anything. Never have, never will, apparently. Um, but... um. <clears throat> It made me think of it because I just walked by a church a minute ago and uh, there was uh, the person who didn't look like they belong in this neighborhood technically who, who would have been probably the pastor or the preacher or whatever and he was outside talking to other people and then I went inside the store and bought what I was going to buy came out and I was going to ask him some questions to see where his head was at but um, it made me think like you know, the past two years, I went to several churches, and they're all closed down. They all shut down uh, because the government told them to, and they got to do whatever the government says, whatever the people around them tell them to do. It's like, that's, that's far off from 2,040 years ago where these people were just lining up and saying, hey, I don't want to believe in every, every word you say. And then the government's like, chop, and just slice their heads off. It's, it's like a real difference between uh, moral values today and moral values of any group <clears throat> seven years ago or older. In my studies, I've seen that if you create a group within seven years, I've said this before, you might think I'm being repetitive. If you create a group within seven years, that that group will have people in it who are nothing like the person who created it. And that's the way it is. It becomes trendy. Like, because I kind of noticed this myself, because I'm like, wait a minute, is the world following trends that I created, or at least I very... I, at the very least, I got on when they first were created. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually happening. Like, uh, I'm in this stuff, and then the masses catch on to it 10 years later, and I'm, like, on something else. And then it, it's, like, an entirely different scenario. So we're 2,033 and years past. I, I guess we're in 2022 now, so add the number 2 to both those calculations. Ooh, no. I don't know math. Frickin' and better. Better call me, uh, I, uh, better say I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm two years off. Ooh. Anyways, um, yeah, that made me think of that. And I might have, uh, this might be repetitive. I'm not sure how many of these videos I released when I was traveling. And, because I had to remake most of them, so I didn't have unlimited data for a while, and I couldn't upload everything, and I had to delete everything for like a year. People are like, oh, you don't need terabytes of data. It's like, uh, you do, if you're me. I'm sorry, if, if you're storing the whole internet, if you're storing pictures and documents for decades, and every second of your life you're recording, you need <laughs> massive amounts of data but um, you need a way to upload it other than that it just gets filled <coughs> that's not the point here point is I'd seen one of these um, people at the churches and I was going to speak with them and I you know I kind of assume what I'm going to hear from them it's probably all the same stuff I've been saying 
has been happening, and I just explained it's happening, but it's interesting, you know, the early Christians, what they did in Rome is they stood up and they say, we're going to stop worshiping the president of Rome, okay? Because the president of Rome was the god. He de they always declared themselves as the gods of the world. And they had pretty good reason to declare that because they were granted the authority to kill anyone they came in contact with. So many people might have logically, righteously decided this person has been chosen. And maybe they were chosen. And then eventually they were probably chosen to be swatted down because they all got swatted down eventually. And... um so, yeah, I wanted to see where they're at. Uh, this I, this person looked like a person who could understand English, as I might have said in different words before. But uh, they weren't there when I got out of there. There's no more gathering outside of the area. Probably because it's like a... Um, <laughs> it's like a... What? A... It's a method where uh, they all could infect each other with the flu, with the deadly flu going around. And the deadly flu uh, makes it so we can't interact with each other no more. And I just like to understand why, you know, everyone wants to understand why it's, everyone like turns away from this group because. They want to understand why, what they're doing, why are they doing it. There is no, oh, you, okay, there is none of that anymore. There is only looking at these groups and being like, you make no sense, you're not doing anything. And then, like some of these other people, they talk about killing Jesus. And they're the last people, I, I think, who have ever killed someone. I don't know, maybe other people are smarter and they kill someone, they don't ever, like, talk like it or talk about it or act like it. But um, a lot of these people, like, they post memes about killing Jesus. And I, I feel like they're, like, <laughs> they're less uh, aggressive people than some of the other people. And they're just posting this because it's cool and trendy and it's the new fad or whatever. And these other people, I feel like, uh, <laughs> like, when I went to the churches, I, f I felt like, when I went to the Masonic temples, I felt like, uh, when I went to the Scientology, I felt like I was being um, told it's time to get out of there. I'm running my mouth too much. It's time to get out of there. And many times, except for one Catholic church, I actually attended a service there. Many times, and that was in like Portland. So, you know, that was a long long travel, a lot of stops in between there, They've, it felt like, w what are you doing, like, uh, who, who's telling you what to think, and, and why is your mind being controlled by this stuff, why, why do you just bow down to it, and, and I thought these groups were about bowing down to um, the, the design of the world, the creator, and not bowing down to uh, Jerry Springer or Oprah Winfrey whatever you want to call it you know I, I gotta like dance I gotta do my little Indian dance hey ya uh, hey ya uh, hey ya uh, around the fire I gotta, gotta dance around the fire because I'm not allowed talking about the fire at this point I'm not allowed talking about it I gotta go hey ya uh, hey ya uh, Hey ya, hey ya, and swing my tomahawks around and and just make it look cute and funny, and like I look, you know, you look stupid, you look stupid doing the little Indian dance with the tomahawks. It doesn't look like there's anything going on. You're like dancing in the fire. The fire is like what's going on. That's why they're dancing around me. And. You know, so I've been trying to do that after eight, nine years of being banned from everywhere as much as I can. So, 
you know, some people asked three years ago, like, what are you talking about? And it's like, well, I'm learning how to dance around the fire because when I dance in it, people don't like it. It's not that I'm getting burned too hard. It's that people don't like it when I'm dancing in the fire. They're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, call the cops, call the ambulance, call 911. And 911 shows up like, you're a mental reject. You're dancing in fire. We've got to drug you and give you your shots and force you to wear this... Uh, straight jacket with a mask on your face or something like that right so it's not it just all links together i'm so stupid i'm so stupid i, I don't know anything right um but uh you see all this stuff if you do or if you see parts of it maybe i'm cluing you into other patterns but you know personally i feel like i probably won't have seen too much of this if you tried to explain it to me until I seen it with my own eyes and, and seen the world which required me leaving the room I was in and it required me leaving the house I was in and then it re eventually required me living the, the block I lived on and the city I lived in and the state I lived in definitely the state whatever state you live in <laughs> It's, it's the state you've chosen to live in, and it's, it's separate from the billions of other states of minds other people are living in. And it's probably different from the reality, whatever that means. There's something, there's something that's definable here, and that's what I'm after. <laughs>